Hello guys, this is Engineer Bonjobe Arbello and you are watching CBAS. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon for notifications and updates on our YouTube channel. Problem number one for the enforced concrete design, USD analysis of singly reinforced beam. A rectangular beam has a width of 300 mm and an effective depth of 500 mm. AS is equivalent to three 25 mm diameter bars. Concrete compressive strength F'C is equivalent to 34.2 MPa. And steel yield strength FY is equivalent to 414 MPa. Calculate the design moment. So, ang nakalagay rito, MU, no? So, dapat hindi ka. Kasi kung design moment ang pinapahanap, therefore, that is phi mn. So, kailangan natin i-multiply yung ating nominal moment ng reduction factor para maging design moment. Ngayon, uh, uh, para makuha natin yung mn, ang equation nun is equivalent to C multiplied by d minus a over 2. So, this is ano, applicable. Bakit? Kasi, rectangular beam yung meron tayo. Or, equivalent to t multiplied by d minus a over 2. So, kailangan natin masolve yung a. So, paano nga ba natin masolve yun? Gamit ang equilibrium condition. Now, ang ating c is equivalent to t. Ang ating C is equivalent to 0.85 F' C multiplied by A multiplied by B. Samantalang naman, ang ating T is equivalent to AS FS. Now, kailangan natin mag-decide kung mag yield ba or hindi ang bakal. Pero syempre, hindi natin alam kung ano talaga sa dalawa yung mangyayari. So, ang gagawin natin is mag assume tayo ng uh, dalawa. Una, kung mag yield siya, pangalawa, kapag hindi na siya nag-yield. So, anyway, kata na naman sa dalawang mauna, okay lang. So, try natin na mag-yield ang bakal. So, assume still yields. So, kung mag-yield ang bakal, therefore, ang ating Fs is equivalent to Fy. So, 0.85 F'C multiplied by A multiplied by B is equivalent to AS multiplied by FS na equivalent sa FY. So, masasolve natin ang A. Uh, so, wala pa tayong AS, no? Sige, solve natin ang AS. Ang AS natin is equivalent to pi over 4 multiplied by 25 squared multiplied by 3. So, 25 squared multiplied by 3 over 4 468.75 pi. millimeter squared. So, masolve natin ang ating A. So, 468.75 pi multiplied by Fy. Ang ating Fy is 414 over 4 point, uh, over 0.85 F'C. Ang ating F'C is 34.2 multiplied by B. Ang base natin ay 300. So, ang A natin is 69.908. Millimeters. Now, para makuha natin ng FS, kailangan natin ng C. Ang ating C is equivalent to A over beta 1. So, isolve rin natin ng beta 1. Hindi to equivalent sa 0.85. Bakit? Kasi ang ating F'C is greater than sa 28 pascal. So, isolve natin ng beta 1. So, this is equivalent to 0.85 minus 0 0.05 over 7 multiplied by F prime C minus 28 under ng NCB 2015. 0.85 minus 0 0.05 over 7 multiplied by 34.2 minus 28. So, ang B natin is 0 0.806. And, B tulay, sorry, beta 1. So, ngayon, makukuha na natin yung location ng neutral axis. So, 69.908 over beta 1 na 0.806. So, 
millimeters. So ngayon, ang FS natin is equivalent to 600 multiplied by D minus C over C. Based yan sa equation natin na na-derive sa introduction. 600 multiplied by effective depth. Ang effective depth is 500. 500 minus C. Ang C is, ilan yung C? 86.73 over C. 2859.05 Mega Pascal. So since ang ating FS ay nag-greater than sa ating FY, therefore, still yields. Lumagpas siya eh, di ba? Lumagpas siya sa yield strength niya. Kaya talagang mag-yield yung bakal. So, since tama yung ating assumption, ibig sabihin, tama yung nakuha natin na A, tama rin yung nakuha natin na C. So, since meron na tayong A, masasolve na natin yung C and force T. So, dapat equal lang yan. So, 0.85 F'C na 34.2 multiplied by A na 69.908 multiplied by B. Tapos, ito uh, ah, I-divide natin ng 1,000 para maging kilo newton. So, 609.67. So, check natin kung mag equal sila kasi di ba equilibrium to? So, AS 468.75 pi multiplied by FS. So, since nag tayo, ang ating FS is FY. So, 414 then divided by 1,000. So, this is equivalent to 609.67. Same lang. Ngayon, makukuha na natin yung MN. So, MN is equivalent to 609.67. Ah, 67 ba? Ito nga ata eh, no? Ah, tama, 67. 609.67 multiplied by effective depth na 500. Tama ba? Okay, 500. Minus A, 69.908 divided by 2. Tapos, i-divide natin ng 1,000 para maging kilonewton meter. So, 283.52. Kilonewton meter. Pero ito, hindi pa final answer. Ano pa lang ito? Nominal moment. So, para sa design moment... PMN, kailangan nating masol or yes, uh, kailangan nating uh, malaman kung ano yung reduction factor based on our FS. Ang FS natin is 2859.01. So since ang ating FS is na greater than sa 1000 megapascal, which is the stress under sa strain na 0.005, therefore, Under tayo ng tension controlled. Kaya, yung ating reduction factor na P is equivalent to 0.90. So, 283.52 times 0.90. So, 255.17. Kilo Newton meter. So, this is our design Ngayon, since rectangular lang naman yung section natin, pwede na natin gamitin yung raw balance, di ba? Asan yung raw balance natin? Ito, yan. I-check lang natin kung tama talaga na nag yung bakal. 0.85 F' C over Fy multiplied by beta 1 multiplied by 600 over 600 plus Fy. So, 0.0335. So, solve naman natin yung raw actual, which is equivalent to AS over PD. Ang AS natin is 468.75 pi over B300 multiplied by T. So, this is equivalent to 0.0098. So, 
So since yung raw actual natin is less than sa so raw balance, no? tama, less than. Tama lang talaga na nag-yield yung akal. Kaya kahit hindi ka na mag-undergo dito sa assumption, kung alam mo ang equation ng raw balance, tapos alam mong kunin yung raw actual, eh, alam mo ka agad na mag-yield yung pakal. Kaya hindi ka na kailangan magpunta-punta rito sa assumption, hindi mo na kailangan pang patunayan yung FS na mag-greater than sa FY. Kasi based on our uh, raw balance and raw actual, eh, talagang mag-yield yung pakal. O ba? Diba? So, napakasimple lang pala talaga ng pag-analyze ng singly rectangular reinforced beam. Pero nung first time ko, na mag-solve ng mga problems under sa reinforced concrete design sa analysis of single reinforced beam under SD, eh talagang hirap na hirap ako. Pero simple lang naman talaga yung pag-analyze dito as long as talagang naunawaan ninyo at sinundan ninyo itong discussion natin sa introduction eh hindi kayo gaano mahihirapan sa pag-analyze ng single reinforced beam. So this is our problem number one for reinforced concrete design, USD analysis of single reinforced beam. So that's it guys. Sana nag-enjoy kayo at marami kayo natutunan sa mga discussion ng mga concept and problem sets ng CEVAX video tutorials. But of course, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon for notifications and updates on our YouTube channel. Thank you for watching. God bless everyone. Bye!